Hello everyone, welcome back to the Hobart Bay Sports Network. I am your host Justin Winter, and today the number 22 Hobart Bay Ones take on the 1 and 9 Virginia Cavaliers. Virginia is 1 and 9 because they are a, ter a terrible team. You can see that with just how bad they are. Hobart Bay, much superior. Virginia is led by Olamide Zacchius, I think that's how you pronounce it, and uh, he's actually quite a speed receiver. That is definitely his specialty, no argument there. Virginia is also led by tight end Evan Butts, who's, you know, he's actually a fairly balanced tight end, all things considered. And then there is also Giovanni, Giovanni Simmons, and uh, he's a good middle linebacker. He should serve them well. Not much else to say. And we are in Seattle, Washington for Hobart Bay's last game of this regular season. Hobart Bay breaking out the All Blacks just like they did against Oregon, except this time the ones plan to win. And they don't have very stiff competition. I mean, this Virginia team, they're 1-9 for a reason. They haven't even won an ACC game. They're they're terrible this year. Very, very terrible. If this game is even close, then Hobart Bay should not be ranked, quite frankly. Anyway, this is also the first senior day. Zach East. This is his last regular season game. And, uh, yeah. So it is fitting that Zach East would go out to the coin toss. Of course, he's always at the coin toss. But today especially, he needs to be out at that coin toss. And there he is, number three. Here for Hobart Bay, Virginia loses the coin toss, so Zach East will tell the ref to kick the ball for Hobart Bay to start. And there you go. In Seattle, Washington, we have kickoff. And it looks like that's not going to reach the end zone, so Lattimore is going to take it out. And he's got uh, not a bad return, 32 yards. First down and 10 for the Cavaliers. Here we go. And off to the left, it's Ellis. He gets a block on the outside, has some space, and gets pushed out after a first down. That's Jordan Ellis. It's a good start for the Cavaliers. They send a man in motion here. McMahon is to throw, and he finds Bernie. And Bernie somehow managed to get extra yards. He should have been stopped for about five. He gets eight instead. This handoff to Ellis gets a huge hole and manages to get a first down nine yards there. Man in motion again. Nick Mahan drops back. Throws over the middle, cut by Reed, and he gets laid down afterwards. Now third down three. Here we go. Nick Mahan to throw to the right. Caught by Joe Reed again. 13 yards, now third down and goal. Goal line formation for the Cavaliers. Hand off to Ellis, and he is met at the one yard line and stopped. And Virginia will kick a field goal. That will put them in the lead, but still, it's only three. And Texas A&M upsets LSU. If the Tigers have any hope of going to the playoff, they're really dead now. Wow, lost by two scores. Here we go, kickoff from Cavaliers. This one to be returned by Theon One. He has not taken one back this year yet. Cuts to the left and he has a whole lot of space, but the Cavaliers have an angle. And they push him out about the 46. And now out comes Zach East on his senior day. First down and ten. Very first play. Play action. Rolls out. Looking for someone. And throws and finds Bubba West who falls forward for a first down. And Bubba West has over 1,100 yards receiving. As East keeps on this read option. Makes a cut. And gets ooh, hit pretty hard after a gain of eight. Brings about third down and two. Another option keeper. And... Gets no, they marked him short on that one. Well, they're just going to go with the QB sneak here, and that will get the first down. And here we have first down play action east 
Throws to the right by Tyler Lamb, who couldn't keep his feet. But nevertheless, it's a 20 yard gain. And East will keep again. And he has space on the outside, and he scores. Touchdown, Hobart Bay. And the Ones will take the lead here on Senior Day. So now Virginia looking for a response. Nick Mahan throws to the left and finds Jordan Ellis again. And a little swing route, 14 yards. They have third down and nine. Three man rush. Nick Mahan throws to the left and he overthrew his man. That ball was uncatchable. So now Hobart Bay will get the ball back with 30 seconds left in the first quarter. We're in the I formation. Play action. East throws deep and it is intercepted by Lattimore. West couldn't make the tackle. Now Lattimore, he gets about 15 yards on the return. Well, Virginia gets the ball back, I guess. Darius Lattimore, good play there. But there's third down and ten. They're still not done with the quarter. McMahon throws deep, and that is <laughs> intercepted by Gerald Williams. And he gets a block, and now he has some space. And he gets about 20 yards on the return. This is a wild end to the first quarter. But we're still not done. No, we're not done yet. Shotgun formation. He's looking to throw. Rolls out. Looking for a man downfield, and he's got a man downfield. That's Thien Wen. And he makes the catch and gets 32 yards. And that will end the first quarter. Wacky end to the first quarter. 7-3 at the end of it. Whew. I wonder if the game's going to be as fun as that. So now we have a first down and 10 for Robart Bay. Another read option, and East will keep again, and he gets smacked down, but this time he gets the first down. And East has over a thousand yards rushing this year. He's been very good about it. Here we go, play action again, looking, fires left. Tyler Lamb caught, touchdown, Hobart Bay. And that will extend the lead to two possessions for the ones. Tyler Lamb there on the catch. And Virginia has a second down and three. And the shotgun. Hand off to Ellis on the counter, who cuts up and gets taken down after a gain of seven. First down, Cavaliers. Now third down, Cavaliers. And McMahon, looking, throws deep, and that is swatted down by Jimmy Hollis, who's already got two tackles today. So first down and ten, Hobart Bay. East will keep on the option again. They're doing that hard today, and he slides down just short of the 50-yard line. First down, Mobar Bay. Still in the shotgun. East throws left. Intercepted again by Darius Lattimore. And he's going to run, and he breaks Bubba West's tackle and gets to about the 31-yard line. Darius Lattimore with his second pick of the day. And Hobart Bay is trying to keep Virginia in this game. Second down and 10. McMahon looks to throw. Fires left. That's Reed. And he slips a tackle from 9 yards. Third down and 1. It looks like Hobart Bay might bring some pressure here. Bernie's in motion. Hand off to Ellis. And Ellis has the outside. Sort of. He gets enough for a first down. And so Virginia will continue their drive. Hand off to Ellis on the counter, who gets one block and makes Jimmy Hollis miss, and that's a score for the Cavaliers. Touchdown, Virginia. So now Hobart Bay only has a four-point lead, 442 left in the quarter. East rolls out, looking for a man. Men coming after him, and he finds Bubba West who gets to the 50-yard line on that 30-yard game. Great play by Bubba West to improvise. He didn't just give up on it. And here's another option, and this time Zach East is caught in the backfield. Loss of three yards by James Trusilla. Second down and 13. He's looking deep. They got men going all over the place, and that one is caught by Gio Saria. He puts on a stiff arm, and he scores! 
How about that from Geosaria? From, what was that? 53 yards out? Heck of a play by the wide receiver. Now third down and nine for Virginia. They're trying to respond. McMahon throws left and that is intercepted by Richard Gilliam. So Gerald Williams has one, Richard Gilliam has one. And now Hobart Bay will get the ball with great field position. Second down and three. He's looking for men on the outside and he finds Bubba West. He tried to make a man miss, but that time the magician didn't quite come out. Second down and four. Here we go, another read option. And this one goes into the end zone. Touchdown, Hobart Bay. 35 seconds left. And that one will take us to the end of the first half. The Hobart Bay ones lead by 18 over the Virginia Cavaliers. Can we just appreciate the end to that first quarter. I mean, that was just the funnest end to the first quarter I've ever seen. Multiple interceptions, deep ball downfield, very, very wild. I mean, that was fun. And the second quarter, Hobart Bay really came into their own. Their only mistake was that one interception, and then Virginia was able to capitalize. But aside from that, Hobart Bay is playing really, really well today, as they should. They are the number 22 team in the nation for a reason. And facing a 1-9 team should be an easy win all day. However, what's interesting is, one, Virginia's outdoing them in rushing yards, despite all the read options that they're doing. And they're actually outdoing them in time of possession. And I think it's because Hobart Bay is just scoring so much. That and Virginia isn't a hurry-up team. They're actually huddling, which is unusual nowadays. And then they both have a pair of turnovers. I find that very intriguing. Hobart Bay is actually losing on the time of possession side. And yet they're still winning by 18 points. That is... that's new. And guess what? They also start off with the ball for the second half. So, here we go. A little play action here to start. Nice will roll out. They've had success on this today. And Nice will decide to run it this time. And he gets 14 yards off of that. Good play to start the half. Here he is, looking to throw. Fires to the right, caught by Tyler Lamb. The throw was a little tight. It was tight enough. First down, 10 for Hobart Bay. Toss left to Trey Regis, who didn't get any blocks. The blocking on that was suspect, to say the least. Second down and 13, a little play action now. His East will roll out again. He's being chased, but he's got some speed, and now he's looking, and he will run. He slides down out of bounds after a gain of ten and a half, so it's third down and three. High formation. He'll go with a little play action again. He throws left, and that's caught by Tyler Lamb again. He's down at the 30-yard line. First down and ten ones. And here we go. A little screen play. That's unusual for Hobart Bay, but Trey Regis getting some receiving yards in. He can't run the ball. Why not, you know, catch the ball and run? So second down and one now for Hobart Bay. They're going to do another read option, and this one's blown up again. Loss of four. Virginia sent the blitz, and it paid off. So third down and five is what the ones face. He's looking to throw to the right. Caught by Bubba West, and he goes out of bounds at about the 7, maybe 8 yard line. Now second and goal. Another read option. This time handed off to Regis, and he scores. And five yards out. And the ones will stretch this lead now up to 25 points. Virginia needs something big, and they need it now. McMahon drops back. Fires left and has Reed and Joe Reed. Barrels forward for a first down. 11 yards on that one. Now five wide. With my hand looking, slings it. Intercepted by Corey Fitzpatrick. The linebacker got it. And that's the third turnover for Virginia today. He's already got four tackles. That interception 
led to his performance. Oh, first down and ten. And Hobart Bay is sending everyone deep. Zach East is running for his life and throws and finds Trey Regis. And Trey Regis is inside the ten off of that one. First down and goal for the ones. And now East is looking and he runs out trying to find something. Decides to go himself and scores! That late cut to the right. That was absolutely nasty. And Hobart Bay gets the points. 42 to 10. That's caught by Evan Butts. I think that's his first catch today. Yeah, that's his first catch today. So much for a team leader. Nick Mahan looking to throw now. He fires over the middle. That's Kraft. Who gets nine yards. Third down and one. Here we go, Nick Mahan looking. Throws left. Caught by Kraft again. And he will move the chains for the Cavaliers. Here we go. Looking again. Running back to block. Nick Mahan all day. And, oh, he got pushed back. And then he gets sacked. Loss of 11. Michael Wallace made that one happen. And now with one second left in the third quarter. Virginia needs something crazy. Nick Mahan looking... No one's down by that first down marker. And eventually he throws, and it's caught by Dubois. And they got the first. How about that? Blocking held up. Receivers made a play. First down, Virginia. Well, it's a 32-point deficit. Virginia's going to have to pull some sort of Buffalo Bills here if they want a chance. So here we go. They need something. Bernie in motion. Hand off to Ellis, and that is blown up in the backfield. Loss of three. Not even close to getting anything going there. So second down and 13. He fakes that one, and he's not getting away from Pat Lilly. Man who doesn't get much at the defensive tackle position, but he got that. And now a third down and 18 faces the Cavaliers. Nick Mahan is looking for anyone, hoping for a repeat of last time. Ellis catches it and manages to get 10 yards. So fourth down and eight for Virginia. This is their last chance. They have to get this. Nick Mahan looking, looking all day. And he gets hit as he tries to throw. And that one should end it. However, Virginia, they're going to put up a fight with two minutes left at the one-yard line handoff to Adams, and he will score for the Cavaliers. But that is way too little, way too late, and that one will end this game. The final score on this one, Hobart Bay 42, Virginia 17. Zach East had a pretty good day today, and the ones are 9-3. They got as many wins this season as they had losses last season. From 2-9 to 9-3. The fact that they even made bull eligibility is a miracle. In fact, I would have thought that that was the best that you could wish for. Let alone 9-3. Let alone ranked. They're 22, probably going to go up after this. Insane season that we have had. It's been very great. Zach East has one more game in a Hobart Bay uniform. And yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, didn't show the fake field goal. We tried a fake field goal, but uh, nah. Anyway, yeah. Po uh, stay tuned for the post game show for the stats on Zach East's senior day. See you there. Zach East went 14 for 25, 289 yards, two touchdowns, three picks, 56% completion. The three picks really hurt, but he also got 89 yards on the ground, including three touchdowns. Trey Regis had three carries for eight yards and a single touchdown. And yeah, receiving wise, Bubba West led the team with four catches, 81 yards, no touchdowns. Tyler Lamb had four catches for 66 yards and a touchdown. Gio Saria, 52 yards on a catch for a touchdown. 44 yards for Trey Regis as well. He actually got some receiving yards. 
And Athene went and had a catch as well. Defensively, our tackle leader was Corey Fitzpatrick and Tariq Stallings. They tied with six apiece. However, Corey Fitzpatrick had a tackle for loss and picks by Logan Perkins, Gerald Williams, Richard Gilliam, and Corey Fitzpatrick. Picks all around. It was a really nice game for our defense. Gave up 17 points. That's not bad, actually. The Virginia tackle leader happens to be Wade Mayo, or Mayo. I think it's Mayo. Receiving, not a great day, honestly. You had Hasis Dubois with 58 yards on four catches. Joe Reed, 57 yards on five catches. 38 yards for Warren Craft. Yeah, that, that's all they got. On the ground, Jordan Ellis had 15 carries for 65 yards, a touchdown, and then Roy Adams had a one-yard touchdown carry, and Mick Mahan just lost a bunch of yards on sacks. However, passing-wise, he went 28 for 47, 278 yards, and no touchdowns, four picks. The four picks were what hurt him, but aside from that, he actually had a very good day. And as you can see here, Virginia only outdid us in first downs, which is kind of surprising, and they kept it close in time of possession. And... Don't look now, but Zach East is top of the Heisman watch. After the last game, he's top of the Heisman watch. I can't wait to see how this ends. Who knows, Hobart Bay might have a Heisman winner in their second season. Anyways, I will see you for the bowl game. I hope to see you there. But until then, make sure to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and have a nice day.